Woo! Look who's back! Now was editing software and fancy dress. I felt like doing something different for this thing that what? Huh? Now, because I really want to do the theme from last week, and I don't think we have one this week. If we do, I apologize. I didn't really tell. Now, I present to you a brief history of the Principality of Liechtenstein. Now, if you don't know what the heck the Principality of Liechtenstein is, I don't blame you. Nobody does. But it is a 62-square-mile country in between, right smack dab in the middle of Austria and Switzerland. A few facts about the Principality of Liechtenstein, other than 62 square miles. God, that's small. They speak high Alemannic German. Its flag is blue on the top and red on the bottom with a crown in the corner of the blue. Um, the crown was only added after they went to the Olympics and found out that Haiti had an identical flag to them. Their currency is the Swiss franc. That's the end of the facts. Now we're getting on to the history. The Prince Valley of Liechtenstein gets its name from the Liechtenstein dynasty, who ruled Lower Austria from at least 1140 to the 13th century, and from 1807 onward. Really? Is it still in power? I didn't know that. Several of these princes worked as advisors to the Habsburgs. They bought the Herrschaft of Schellenberg and the County of Vaduz in 1699 and 1712, respectively, from the Holy Roman Empire. It was still part of the Holy Roman Empire, which is confusing. On the 23rd of January, 1719, Charles VI, Holy Roman Emperor, united the two and gave them the status of principality and named it Liechtenstein after the Liechtensteins. Just to show you how political this purchase was, the princes would not set foot on their own land for another 150 years. As a result of the Napoleonic Wars, by 1806, HRE was dissolved, Liechtenstein became sovereign, and crap pretty much hit the fan for Lake D, and they refused to owe anything to anybody outside. From the 25th of July, 1806, when the Confederation of Rhine was founded, Liechtenstein was a member until its dissolution in 1813. From the 20th of June, 1815, to the 24th of August, 1866, Liechtenstein was part of the German Confederation. In 1818, Johann I granted the territory a limited constitution, and that same year, the first member of the House of Liechtenstein visited, it, you know, Liechtenstein. Um, and I think, Rebecca, you said you're a black belt friend, you'd like this. Um, the first prince, well, the first member of the House of Liechtenstein was Prince Aloise, like Trancy, haha. <laughs> it had some sort of union thing with Austria-Hungary in World War II, and after Austria and Hungary, you know, broke up, it became independent, it became independent, like, once and for all, and has remained pretty much neutral since then, even though it did have, it didn't have an official Nazi party in World War II, but it did have a lot of Nazi support, um, and it was, this, there was this one time when 500 Soviet soldiers flew, um, fled Russia into Liechtenstein, and Liechtenstein refused to give them back to Russia, no matter how many times he was like, dude, come on, give me back my people, and she was just like, no. Nah. And, like, half of them went back to Russia anyway, um, but some of them stayed until they got, until they could be moved to, no, they didn't have good relations with Czechoslovakia, what was it? I can't remember, if you know, let me take my pants off. Oh, yeah, but I was wearing pants with this dress. And that's pretty much it. They have um, a monetary and lots of political ties to Switzerland, which is why in Italia, Switzerland's Liechtenstein's big brother. Oh, Liechtenstein. I have a... I drew her! Where'd it go? Anyway, I was going to do this on Edgar Allan Poe, but I'm pretty sure everyone already knows about Edgar Allan Poe. But if you don't, I might make one on my own channel, because I really like Edgar Allan Poe. I have a book, The Complete Tales and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe, and it's bigger than my English teacher's. And my math teacher has one too, and he's like, your Edgar Allan Poe book is bigger than mine, and I'm like, hey, hoo-ha, nerd fighters! That was like the perfect moment to do that. I'm so proud of myself. Anyway, I'm going to twirl around a bit. Hey, you, what, Sydney, Sydney, you said you were auditioning for a solo. That's awesome. I got a solo for my fall concert, which is on Monday, but there's a hurricane coming our way. So Hurricane Sandy, there's like a big fuss about it. I mean, I don't know if what they're doing in Georgia or whatever. I don't know if it's going there, but 
it's gonna hit like the Virginia, Maryland, New, e New England area. So we might have school on Monday, which is also the day I have my fall concert. So what you gonna do? My punishment. I will be doing my punishment next week after it gets issued to me by Raquel because I said, hey, your birthday present is you get to make me do something terrible. I'm scared. I've never been punished before. This is new to me. I hope you enjoyed learning about Liechtenstein. I certainly did because now I get to just information at your face <sighs> to people who really don't care. Anyway, Oliver, I will see you tomorrow. I look naked right now. I'm not.